Okay, here we go again. Yeah, so um, I think you need to say, first of all, that hell is... The colours, first of all, come from um, the traditional idea of hell itself. Um, I don't think we get the happiness... I mean, I can see what you're doing here with this combination of colours, but I think that this is overridden by um, the redness of hell. So I would talk about the um, the colour of fire and blood and anger and danger. And I like the determination in here, but I wouldn't put the orange in here, okay? Um, then if you want to talk about the sound, there's a, there's a sound of wind here, which... Um, emphasizes the character's isolation um, and the fact that or the for the audience that um, there is no normal um, there's no reassurance in the sound design you know wind um, in this context connotes uh, somewhere bare and uh, unwelcoming And um, you could talk about how the the camera work as he's arriving in hell, um, the shot reverses, and then we see him framed uh, very small in the in the frame as the camera tilts up to reveal uh, the setting. Uh, I would also say about the setting that um, we've got the. conventional um, props or conventional objects such as abandoned cars uh, and cityscape in the background suggest that this is um, civilization uh, corrupted or civilization destroyed, if you like. Um, now here, well, I sort of run out of um, things to say, and given that uh, you've got 1,500 words, we're a bit short. So let me just give you some ideas on the rest of the scene, and perhaps you can try and add them in. We'll get them into hell. So you see the camera's pulling back here, and this is what I was talking about with the... The way that there's a lot of zooming it, it zooms in and zooms out. On him, which makes him seem out of control. So here the camera rotates around him, pulls back and then tilts up. This is the scene I was describing. Uh, you could say uh, special effects are very important here. The palm tree, tree on fire, uh, adding to adding to the idea of um, destruction. Now, here, as Constantine walks towards the camera, the camera drops to reveal tormented souls being tortured by demons. This is followed quickly by a cut to the inside of a demon's skull and a close-up on sinister face of the demon. We hear the diegetic sound of the demon's teeth gnashing, G-N-A-S-H, uh, whilst a plaintive piece of music plays. In the next shot, the camera is behind the demon, looking out as Constantine walks past the abandoned car. This creates tension for the audience because they... Uh, 
This creates tension for the audience. As they expect him to be attacked, something along those lines. character of Isabel is revealed and shot reverse shot and an eye line match very quickly establish the contact between her and Constantine. Lawrence then cuts to a scene of the demons gathering which builds tension for the audience. This is followed quickly by a tracking shot as the demons gather Close-ups are used of Isabel's face and her forearm as she takes the hospital identification tag from her wrist and lets it fly into the smoke and wind. So here you could say, I mean, the, the extreme close-up of the um, hospital tag for the audience emphasizes its importance. What Lawrence is doing is drawing the audience's uh, attention to this tag. And here's the change in the sound. As soon as it um, is released, we get the beginning of the chase sequence. And this is where the pace of the editing speeds up. And the music here has a much more rhythmic um, tempo, which uh, imitates, if you like, the heart beating faster. Now this is a god's eye shot, okay, because it's much, much higher and um, this part of the scene culminates in a god's eye shot as Constantine stands on an abandoned car with the demons gathering around him. This is intercut with shots of Isabel falling into the bowels of hell. There is there are two quick shots here. You see that one. There. So there's a close up as Constantine catches the ID tag in his hand, which cuts quickly to a shot of his right hand pressed against his chest. Then a slow motion shot of the demons gathered around him. The scene cuts back to Angela outside the door and her hair begins to move again, suggesting that real time has returned. Just a close up on her face as she says, Jesus. Here the director is showing her shock as the audience see from her point of view Constance, Constantine hunched over in the apartment with smoke coming from his jacket. He hands her the hospital tag and there is an extreme close-up showing the name of Isabel Dodson, her twin sister. The camera slowly zooms in to emphasize the significance of this information. It cuts away to Constantine and then slowly zooms in to Angela's face. to draw the audience's attention to her stunned reaction. Okay, so that's the, my kind of commentary on it. I mean, generally speaking, um, let me see, 10 seconds. Okay, well, that's what, that's what I would do with it. I mean, it is a very important scene. It's a turning point. I think you should say that in your conclusion that um, it's significant um, for the 